Hello, here we are with Kicking It With The Wolverine, where I say what I mean and I mean what I say. Um, today, I know it's Friday, and we, we normally do the Kicking It With The Wolverine on Wednesday or Monday. Um, this week, I, it was off all week. We just had a lot of stuff to do. But uh, the reason I come to you today is this is uh, a respect and a rest in peace um, kicking it with the Wolverine, not for kicking it with the Wolverine, we're going to be going on, but what we want to talk to you about is that the martial arts community, the martial arts world, you know, over the past few years have lost several of uh, their pioneers and icons um, in the martial arts. These guys were guys that paved the way uh, for the rest of us to do what we do, for uh, sport karate to flourish and, and um, become the sport it is and, and to be followed by so many. And, you know, we just want to list some of these names. Obviously, uh, you know, a few years back, my instructor, Grandmaster Joe Lewis, um, that I miss dearly every day, along with, you know, hundreds of thousands of his, his other students and people that trained with him. Um, last year, Bill McDonald. Then this year, uh, it's been six so far. Rooster Mackin, uh, Grandmaster June Ree, uh, Roger Carpenter, uh, Mark Payne, um, Roger Green, and then today, Ralph Jasky. I may not be saying that name right at the end, but, um, you know, these guys are, are pioneers. They, they had they still had things that, that they could teach. And I just want to say to you out there, you know, that we have a whole generation of these great men that are getting older and older. And I ask you guys, and you, especially you young guys as martial artists, I know that you, everyone's all concerned about just making a name for themselves or just, just worrying about themselves. But, but, you know, I ask you out of respect to, you know, take the time to get to know about these people and know what they've done and to pass that along to future generations because that's what it's all about because sometime we're all going to get to that point to where we pass on and we want somebody to hopefully continue to pass down what we were trying to get across. And I'm not talking about these guys. There's so many young guys and, and people coming into the sport today that are, are they just see a, a chance to make money, just an opportunity to make money and, and inflate their own ego by holding tournaments or whatever they're doing. You, you know, just – they're not giving anything back. These men that I just listed, they gave back to the martial arts. It was not about money to them. It's about what you can do for the next person through that door. You know, it's not about money. It's about giving something to the community, being able to touch someone's life or help someone in that way that's going to continue to better it. Not only that, they got in the trenches. They were out there competing. These guys were people that were in the beginning of the competition phase and, and not just trying to hold tournaments, but organizing them, getting out there, fighting, doing the katas, doing the weapons, doing the breaking divisions, making sure that everything was right and getting things done the way it should be done so that we would have a good set of rules and figuring out the do's and don'ts and what works and what doesn't. And and that's the kind of people that we really need to honor. So if you have a chance to ever sit down and talk to any of these guys that are that are coming up and getting in age, um, you know, be sure and do and, and try to remember what they say so you can pass down to the rest of us. You may have a question or, or something to them or they may pass something along to you that, that the rest of us don't know. And that's what the, the Sport Karate History Museum is there for. And that's why uh, Professor Gary Lee is there uh, to protect the history one more year at a time. And that's what the History Museum is all about. So, you know, that... That, the good thing about that is they, they keep a record of that. They keep a record of the lineage and of what these people do. And we just want to take a deep bow of respect to those guys, and not only to those guys, but all you guys that are seniors in our, in our systems and what we do in the martial arts community. And we just want to thank each and every one of you from the bottoms of our hearts and give you us much respect. Because without you guys, it would not be possible to do what we do. And that list is way too long uh, for me to get into. But we'd just like to take this time to say thank you. And as always, remember, pray for these guys. Reach out to these guys. And keep it going strong, guys. Remember, till next time, keep your kicks up. Stay strong. See you. Us.